Welcome to Art Starts Explores, our province of play. Are you ready to get creative with us this week? Let's review our three basic rules that guide us through our exploration and play. Rule one is respect. We want to respect ourselves, anyone we're making with, our tools and making space, and the lands and waterways where we're making. How can you practice respect when you explore, play, and make? Rule two is no expectations. If we're not expecting something to turn out good or bad, we're open to it going in a whole bunch of different ways. And that means that all respectful, creative explorations are great, regardless of what it ends up looking like. Try to do things you've never tried before and ask yourself, what will happen if I... Rule number three is nothing is for keeps. Everything we make together is a test, or a draft, or creative playtime. We're just trying things out. What can you make or try today and then take apart or recycle? What can we learn by making and not keeping? These are our three rules for when we explore together every week. Okay, what will we explore together this week? Hello, my name is Hyungmin Yoon. I'm a visual artist in Vancouver. I use various materials and mediums for my work, uh, but some of my favorite things to play with are light, shadow, and reflection. And the theme uh, for this month is shadow. Uh, both shadow and reflection occur when light um, reacts with uh, an object. I have a polar bear here and when I light it, you can see the, the shadow at the back and also nice um, reflection on the black tray here. Yeah, today um, I would like us to uh, make a little temporary sculpture and place it on the water um, and play with reflection. So I have here a tray, a black tray, but if your tray is not black, you can use a garbage bag um, and put it over and that will work just fine. I have white pipe cleaners um, or any bright colors will work. Um, it's just because bright um, color reflects way better than dark color. Let me show you with my brown bear. So now you can compare the white bear and brown bear's reflection. Um, the polar bear has much clearer reflection. So if you don't have pipe cleaners around today, um, you can use any uh, bright objects. Uh, it could be uh, Lego blocks or anything that's waterproof that uh, you want to play with. I have a pair of scissors here to um, trim in case I need to trim the pipe cleaners. And I have some paper, pencil, or markers or anything to write and draw. And I have a flashlight. Other things I have on the table um, are water dropper and spray bottle, but these are optional. Okay, so I would like to um, start with uh, sketch. I'm gonna let these bears um, stay outside. Let's start um, 
making a little sketch before we make a sculpture, I would encourage you to make a letter sculpture with me because it works really well with pipe cleaner. But if you want to draw, uh, make a shape or symbol, sign, anything, um, it, that's okay. It's your choice. I'm going to write a, a word. Um, let's see, I'm going to write shadow. And I'm going to practice uh, writing upside down, reflected shape. This is uh, a, just a little fun brain teasing game that you can do. Uh, I sometimes like to write uh, upside down, backwards, um, mirror rays. Um, and you can tell some shapes will be easier than others. I'll write another one. Maybe I'll write light. Let's see. Some geometric shapes are easy to copy, but not when they are combined. So you can take time and make a word uh, or write your name or let's try a shape too. Maybe I'll, I'll draw a little rainbow shape here and, and the reflection of it. You can see that um, that will be fun and I'm going to actually connect the lines because I know that we are going to use pipe cleaner and that way I can connect uh, I can make with one long pipe cleaner something else like if you have a half circle the reflection will make the rest and we'll make a full circle um, so you can play with anything, any shapes. So now I have a word that I want to make. So I'm going to try with my pipe cleaner. So I'm going to start with my letters. Letter S. And it could be as big as you want or as small as you want. It could be pointy or rounder if you like round shapes. One thing that I'm going to um, think about right now is um, how to make it standing. If you have a helping hand, you could ask somebody to hold it for you while you watch the reflection, or you can simply put something at the back. Or this time, I'm going to try to make a loop at the bottom, a small loop, so uh, it can be standing on its own. And maybe I don't even have to trim. I'm going to put down and see the shape. This time, uh, try not to look at the shape of your sculpture. What you want to see is the reflection. So have a look at the, the shape of the reflection and you can change. I actually quite like how it's handmade um, looking and that makes the, the this font quite comical. Okay, I'm going to leave it there and go ahead and make another letter. There's no one way to make this. Uh, it's up to you and I would like you to be more creative uh, than me here and 
to find some fun way to do it. Maybe I'll try to make a leg here this time. And I'll trim it. And this time I'm going to try my magnet to make it standing. Because it's a, it has a metal, um, I think it could work. There you go. There you go. Okay. Um, so since I start to make a little bit big, I won't actually write shadow, but I'm going to change in some of the words and uh, letters and make a new word here. Um, not all letters have to be similar sizes. They could be different. Some could be bigger than others. I'll try another earth magnet. I think it's actually working well because it's dark and sort of disappears. I don't see it. Hey, I thought a little O was quite fun there. So I'll make the next one a bit bigger. And so I'll make another leg and try. Do another magnet, a little bit, uh, yeah, maybe away from it, the next one, so it doesn't get stuck. Here's my little words. Um, I can already see a little bit. Um, I'm going to use my flashlight and shine it. Can you see the word? If you actually point the water, um, you get to see the water a little bit foggy or murky. Try just lighting the letters. You, could, you can show one by one and place it um, at the back. Okay, um, I moved the letters away this time to make a little shape. Uh, I, I'm going to make the, the rainbow um, shape that I drew. I'm going to see if that works. Also, shapes are very different um, from making letters. Um, Well, you can do any line drawings uh, that you would like to do, uh, or something more ambitious when you have time. I'll just make a quick uh, uh, rainbow. And I added a, uh, the foot also. So I'll, put, I'll use this magnet. And I need to see if this is going to be standing. No, it needs a little more surface. So I'll have a little foot on the other side too. Yeah, I'm gonna see. There, I'll add a uh, fresh light. It shows really well, and 
is a little bit like a bow too. So if you go outside and watch uh, reflections or if you go uh, watch, watch uh, a body of water, they are rarely still because a lot of things, environment, uh, like rain or wind or snow or people or animals, they, they sort of disrupt the uh, water. So we are going to create some movement in on the surface of water. So here, I'm sending some ripples from one side and watch the reflection changing. Maybe I can try a little uh, raindrops here. Big raindrops. I find it really interesting that how um, the reflection changes and then quickly it comes back to, uh, to still. What if I spray some water? It almost sort of erases um, and then comes back again. What's your favorite um, way to make ripples? Waves, I actually quite like just tapping. It's a very interesting um, image. So when you go uh, hiking and uh, see a, a lake that is very still, um, that reflects the landscape almost upside down um, as it is, then it looks like a just like a painting. Um, I think the the moving water makes the image as moving image. Thus, movie. I hope you have um, fun making ripples and making reflections. And I hope you go outside and continue your experiment. Or maybe next time you go outside and you, you notice uh, more reflections and you can observe the puddle in a different way. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to organize your table after your experiment. Um, probably most of the things for this experiment, you can put those things back where it was in the house and use it next time.